what uh, that's what we come up with. Okay, that's what this tool will do. I made this tool about seven years ago, and I thought I'd take a take a moment to show you how you too can make one of these uh, rotary texturing tools cheaply. Some of you wood turners don't have the the money to to buy fancy embellishing tools. Others of you are just too frugal, and and some just like making tools. So if this is what you're interested in, keep watching. I'm going to have a more detailed video on how to use this tool and demonstrate the three different burrs, but let's get let's go ahead and get into making one. Like I said, I made this one about seven years ago. Uh, on the second one, I'm going to take the benefits of lessons learned. I only use two bunting bearings because bearings, someone gave me those, those bearings that, that I used. And as a result, this didn't sit as deep as it, as it needs to. As a result, it got a whole lot more, more, more wear and tear. Uh, it still works just fine. You hold it in place and, and, and it's gonna, the bearings get some excessive wear because of that, that pressure, but it still works fine seven years later. But in this uh, newest model, which I have here, you can see the, uh, the burr doesn't stick out as far because I, instead of two bearings uh, starting from the top, I have three bearings. So it's got much more support further down, so it, it should not develop as that, uh, that wear, and, wear and tear, nor will it have that, that play on it. So here's the two-page handout uh, that you can download off my web website and I'll have the link below in the in the show notes. The first thing I want to want to talk about is this brass pipe nipple that holds these these bearings. Uh, you can get these things from your uh, home development store but I found it a whole lot cheaper on Amazon and I'll have an affiliate link to that. You need to check around sometimes a longer one uh, is cheaper than a short one. It doesn't make sense, but that's the way it is. But you need one at least four inches long. You're going to embed it in the handle about maybe an inch and a half and have it projecting out about, uh, looks like uh, maybe two and a, two and a quarter, two and a quarter uh, inches. You'll want this to be long enough uh, so that you can uh, maneuver around an awkward, an awkward tool rest to get in there. So these these bunting bearings that, that I use uh, are some type of bronze uh, powdered metal that are self-lubricating. Uh, and there's, there's three of them in here, uh, I, and I'll show how you, how you assemble that in, in just a moment. Better yet would be a small ball bearing. Uh, you can find those uh, with a 1 8, 1 8 inch diameter uh, on the ins inside bore so it'll, it'll fit your tool. The challenge is finding something that will contain it in just the right side on the outside diameter and I've had a problem with that so I found these bronze bushings are inexpensive. They, as I show they wear very well uh, so this is a solution that I use but if you've got some way of containing those bearings you can buy those fairly inexpensive but I'm not sure I'd go to the, the, the expense to do that. Again, I have affiliate link for all these parts, including these three bearings. These three bearings were less than uh, three dollars uh, off Amazon. Uh, these Dremel burrs, there's three different ones, and I'll show uh, a close-up here, uh, and, and I'll go into detail on how to use those, like I say, in a in a future future video. But they're they're Dremel burrs. Uh, some you can buy from your local home development store or hobby store. Uh, I found about as good a price off Amazon. Again, I'll have a, a link to to that. The, these are 5 sixteenths uh, of an inch across their high-speed steel, again, with a 1 8 inch uh, shaft. And they rotate freely because in this process, I have a little magnet at the bottom that, it, that, it, that holds it in place so it won't easily come out. Uh, but it, it'll spin easily against that magnet. I turn a small handle about six inches long. Uh, I use a brass compression fitting for the ferrule and turned it down with a piece of high speed steel and decorated the handle a little bit. I'm going to drill it before I part it off. First thing I do is assemble the uh, components, uh, kind of a dry fit if you will. Here's the three uh, bushings I'm going to use. I've used two in the previous one and I think three is better. Then I've got my rare earth magnet. 
Then I've got my quarter inch dowel and I've got it marked. I'm assembling it like this because I want this to be flush with the top. I want all this to, to touch and then I want to cut it off here because I want the dowel to be even with the pipe and supported by the by the hole in the bottom of the handle. I'm going to glue the rare earth magnet to the stick with the uh, CA because just I think it's a little simpler. I've sprayed a little uh, um, accelerator on the wood. I'm going to use this to kind of hold that, that magnet. I'm just going to put just a drop of thin CA on here and we're just going to touch, touch it on here. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tape these bushings together because they're kind of loose and in order to glue them I want them to come together as one unit so I've cut out a piece of tape. I'm just using this cutter just to orient them and I'm just using some very thin uh, clear tape because I think masking tape would be too big. So I'm just going to come around with one, one lap and I think that's going to going to hold it because it just has to hold it in in place while while I put some glue on it and slide it down so that tube is now ready and it fits in there easily you can see there's a little bit of slack and the uh, uh, epoxy is going to take up that that slack as it as I glue this in I suspect that some of y'all got some better ways of doing this, but I'm going to use some uh, five minute epoxy. Well, let's squeeze out just a bit. That's probably more than needed. Do what appears to be an equal amount. Stir it up real good. Okay, now I'm going to put some of this on the dowel and slide that into the nipple. The threaded part's going to go in the handle, so we're going to just ease this in here, just twist it. I'm going to wrap it around the bushings because I don't want to get any of this inside so I'm going to have to be real careful and looks like I've already got too much on here. But I want to coat all the way around. Right now I'm going to drop this and slide this in the nipple like this and just spin it on a little bit. And now I think I'm going to put a little bit more on the outside. that in. Alright, I want it flush here. That excess off. Okay, now all we got to do is use all the rest of it to, to hold this nipple. I've got a fairly snug drilled hole. that in and just twist it in place. Wipe up that excess. Alright, now I'm going to leave this, mount this upright so the glue won't go to one side. Some of these things you don't think about until the last minute. There we go. I have several embellishing tools uh, that each each has their own place and function, but this particular one does especially well on the inside of boxes. We're going to, uh, we're going to cut on that left leading edge. If you don't want to go, uh, go to the trouble of sourcing the parts and and. Uh, building one, you do have a couple of options. Number one, there's a kit from Highland Woodworking. I'll have a link in the in my handout. 
uh, and it's it's only about thirty dollars gives you all the parts except for the handle and it actually uses real real bearings so that's a nice feature uh, the commercial model the Henry Taylor decorating elf you can get from craft supply and, and other wood woodworking uh, wood turning vendors uh, and that's also a, a nice option currently I think that's about sixty five dollars with 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 one one tip uh, a third uh, uh, choice is uh, Ron Brown's best uh, rotary texturing tool. He's got that on his his website and you can also buy it from uh, Peachtree Woodworking uh, and I believe it comes with all three cutters for about the same price as the uh, as the decorating elf. I'll have a link to this uh, this video on how I make this round round cove and, and point, point point tool which is pretty much essential for using using this tool and it's easily very easily made and inexpensively uh, inexpensively made. I'll also have a link to the video with more details on how you actually use this tool. Uh, if it if it's not up here now, it'll be up here in a, in a week. Y'all stay safe. Come on back here and don't forget to subscribe and click the uh, ring and ring the notification bell to make it easier to, for others to find this find this video.